Welcome everybody to another edition of Box Busters videos. This is uh, Box Busters videos. There you go. Like that. That's a new one. All right, let's start over. <laughs> Welcome everybody to another edition of Box Busters. I'm Eric. I am Paul. Second video, third video? Third video now. We're yes. breaking them in, guys. All yes. right, so we got a, a box of 1516 Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey. Uh, they were kind enough to send us two boxes. I opened up a box yesterday to get it over to our uh, photo guys so we can uh, get all those images for everybody up on the website. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Looking at 24, 24 packs, 8 cards a pack. Uh, obviously, obviously we're looking for the Eichel Young Gun. The canvas, the program of excellence canvas cards are um, selling well, especially the Connor McDavid's on the secondary market. You can get this for about one seventy. I'm sorry. Wow, not one seventy five. That's one seventy five dollars a box. Eighty dollars a box. Somewhere in that. Uh, somewhere in that range. So uh, we're just gonna get into it. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Now, do you break much hockey yourself, there, Paul? I do not. Actually, no? I do not. This is Joel Edmondson. Uh, OPG do, update. Uh, yeah, and I got a little OPG update myself right there. Tyler Randall. Awesome. Let's show you the back of the back of the cards on the updates. There you go. Pretty clean, just like you would expect for for an OPG. Oh, there we go. There we go. So you how many hits are we looking for in this? Oh box? well, you know, the box I opened yesterday actually had two hits in it. It's okay. normally a hit, but we had an autograph and a jersey in that box, which was cool. Very cool. Uh, Hey, there you go. shiny's got, always good. You got a nice little uh, rainbow foil there. There you go. And that is, um, I'm not very good with hockey names here, but that is Brandon Gonse. Sure. Good. That's, that's the Opeachy foil. Brought him again red from the Opeachy update. Doing well so far on those. It's good, man. A lot of people like the, the rainbows and the foils yeah. and things like that. So that'll be, a, be pretty popular amongst the hockey guys out there. There you go. There's a there's a regular card, but there's a Hopi card. He's probably one of the hottest guys in yeah, hockey right now. He's really hot right now. Getting ready. To, he's chasing that record, isn't he? Chasing yeah. Something. He is. Yeah. There's a. Whew, I'm not even gonna try that name. Antoine Slepshev. Is that right? I don't know. Uh, retro. Oh, those are cool there. cards. I'm sorry if I if I butchered his name. I I was not intending to. It's like, it but it happens. It, does happen. it happens. Some of these names are silent letters and lasagna. I don't know. Well, there we go. That's a yeah. good start. There we go. Jack Little Eichel's portrait. UD portraits of Jack Eichel. I got another one. I got a bad one pill. there. Oh, look at that. There we go. Back to back. Okay. Those portraits, the 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 blue spectrum portrait portraits are numbered to twenty five. Oh, those okay. are tough pulls, but you know, if you if you pull one of those, you're getting your your, your money, money's worth. Money's worth. Kind of like the Young Gun exclusives. Yeah, kind of like that. Were they number two? Hundred. Hundred. And then you got the high gloss. Interesting. Interesting thing about the high gloss this year uh, in Series Two, it's still a high gloss. It's numbered to ten, but the high gloss moniker did not get onto the card. So uh, if you if you're collecting them and you see that, it's still a high gloss. Just if they would have changed it, it would have delayed the uh, overall date of release. So they they decided to go oh. without it. Did not know that. There you go, Toy Brown. All right, let's see what we got here. So, oh, there we go. There's a canvas card. There we go. It's got James Neal. There's a canvas card. Such great cards, man. Good Pop quality. Yeah, he's a popular player in Nashville. Good quality here. We'll shoot the back here real quick of that. We got, dude, we're going like back for back on the. There game. we are. We are on everything, right? Awesome. Yeah. Love the canvas insert set, like you said. It's uh, I, it's, I like it better than the base set, personally. That's just me. Maybe they should. Maybe we should put that in as a suggestion. They could do an all canvas set. Well, they do. They, it's a whole other canvas insert set. Masterpieces. Masterpieces. There's Logan Shaw. There's our first young gun, I believe. <laughs> and you got a young gun too. And we do. Like two peas in a pod. This is a little weird. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd you get there? Uh, yes. Demlo. Demlo. We'll put that right there. There you go. So, on average, there's, uh, I believe, six young guns per box. 
Okay. Might, might be five, so we're somewhere in that range. There we go. Donsky. Here's one of those retro ones. Those are pretty cool with the background. I like those a lot. Got a. That's the first one of those I've got. Did you get one too? No, no. Oh, got man. a Connor Hellebuck rookie game jersey, so rookie material. Oh, okay. Very nice looking. Right, right. First name, wrong last name. <laughs> You were telling me they have different tiers of those? Mm, they have the patch ones. Groupings. They have the patch ones, yeah, the groupings are, are always important to those. Um, group On the game jerseys, the Group A game jerseys, uh, recently on a secondary market, a Doug Gilmore plain white swatch sold for over $200. So That's nice. Uh, group A it was f something like 588,000, one of 588,000 packs. Nice. So. Good payday for somebody. There you go. On a plain white swatch. Did you get a young gun? Mike McCarran. There you go. That one as well. <clears throat> Just going back to back to back on this. We are. We are. Let's see what we got here. Cameraman's being awfully quiet today. Normally he likes, we like a little chatter. I'm tired. He's tired. I'm tired today. Do you have a lot of carbs for lunch? No. No? Yeah. No, got up early, go vote. Oh, hey, Frederick Anderson. It is Super Day Tuesday. I hope you guys are exercising your right to vote. Absolutely. Get out to the polls. Yes. I couldn't because I went to the wrong place to vote. Oh. Because right. in my district, it's five miles away from my house, even though there's one right across the street from my house. Ah. Uh, uh, gotta love Texas. The cameraman and I live in the same general vicinity, so that's good to know that Justin and I live. At least Justin has told me where the... Bowling, polling facility is. Mm -hmm. Our back to back, back to thing here. I think this is this guy's only card this season so far. Oh, is it? I think so. Other than the young on canvas. So, all right, last pack. Last, last pack. Right, let's see. What does it hold? Got a Jared McCann UD portraits. I got a portraits yeah. as well. Man, this is creepy. <laughs> this is kind of creepy. These are kind of cool. They did these like the first series. They did the checklist. Mm -hmm. Those are kind of cool yeah. with the split guys on there. So guys, that is it. I'm gonna show you uh, Daniel Sedin from my last pack jumping up. That always scares me when hockey players jump up because I don't know how they're gonna land. I don't know how you're gonna yeah. land exactly. <laughs> so guys. Uh, that's series two. It's a very, you know, obviously set collectors are really into this because they're, they're wanting to finish their set. Right. Um, putting all the young guns together. The uh, canvas, um, Connor McDavid is in this series. Very hot card. Right? Very hot card. Um, also the young, Eichel young gun, which is uh, also a very hot card. Anything with Connor McDavid or Eichel on it's very hot. Yes, so, yeah, um, absolutely. Go get your series two if you haven't. But that's what we think. Why don't you tell us what you think down below. And until next time. I'm Eric. I'm Paul. Just keep ripping.